Hello everyone, my name is Derek Nyamung and I will be uh, showing you some of the basics of Fusion 360 3D modeling software. So this is the part we are going to design today. As you can see this is the assembly of a foldable or retractable wheel of an aircraft. A simple mechanism. As you can see we are falling. So yeah, let's get to it. Okay, let me open a new window and this one. So the first thing we are going to do is add a sketch. Uh, we do on the right, right plane, this one, and then we, we make a circle. Dimensions, we use 668 millimeters. The unit time. Extrude. You can click here, extrude, or you can just press E and then click on the on the, on the sketch. And then to the further direction here, you can choose symmetric so that it, it extrudes on both sides. So the extrusion is 617 millimeter. Then your body, of course, puts from scratch. The weight. So as you can see, there's two there's two ways of using the symmetrical direction. So there's half line. That means this one, one will be 270, and the other one also 270. That means it's two times the size of one. So you actually use the whole line. So right now you can see it's now from this edge up to this one is 270. So after that, you, are, you click here. Make a sketch on this on this face. So which most I like to use the project feature. So to use the project feature, you can either use you press S for search, and then you click on P, and then you search for project project, and then you click on this one. But if you don't want to go on all those uh, processes, you can just click P, and then it will. The project feature will come automatically. So now I projected my uh, the edges and the and the, right, the center point. So I can make another sketch. This one will be 420 degrees. I mean millimeters. So and then I will extrude it up to up to 30 millimeters. So this is the extrude cut. So as you can see this one is extrude both. As you can see it's going outside but when it's going inside it's cutting. So this one is extrude cut. So as you can see this one changes here. When it's here it's join as you can see. And then when it's inside cutting it's cut. So you, you use cut and then for the distance it's 30. Yeah, press OK. And then I want to put this uh, this cut on this other side as well. So you use the feature called mirror uh, mirror command. So as you can see, it's uh, mirror command. And then we, should, we use features because I want to put this feature just to of uh, extrude cut on this other side so that means I have to click on this feature here and then for the plane as you can see the reason why I use symmetrical is because I wanted to get a middle plane so that my plane can be linear that's why I use the symmetrical extrude when I was making the scratch the part from scratch so you click on this plane which is the middle plane See, it's the middle of the part so that you can have an adjacent uh, feature of extrude cut here. Then press OK. As you can see, we have both sides which are, which are cut. So, the next part we are going to use the fillet. So, the fillet is here. We use these two edges and then the, 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 the radius. 
radius is uh, 15 millimeters. Yeah, yes, something after that. And, uh, click here. This face, inside the face. Then uh, sketch. We make another sketch here. So we're going to make the uh, whole sketch. We have to the projection command again. I like to use it every time because it's very, it's a very helpful feature. So the sketch is again a circle with a diameter of 60. So this is where the shaft obviously enters and directly uh, connects the uh, the wheel. So we're going to make a cut through here. So to make a cut through, you click on the extrude as usual, and then instead of you know instead of wasting time having to do the distance like this, you can just click on. Uh, on extend type and then click on all so it will automatically just cut through everything that's in its way as you can see it's done right now so uh, the next thing to do is uh, add the fillets inside this is the inside the inner edges so the first phase is this one this one this one and this one. This is 10, ten the radius of 10 millimeters. After that, then we are uh, the next step is to yeah. So for, after this one, the next step is to make the node here right here. So again, I project. I like using this project feature. So you, you can just put a circle anywhere. Click here like this. Make and then, then, then a vertical line here. So we're going to make uh, an angle between these two lines, which is 45 degrees. And then the distance from the left, the middle of the circle of the small circle to the big one is 160, 160 millimeters, and then the diameter of the circle is 20. So, as you can see, it turned from blue to black, that means it's fully defined. So, so after this one, you you can click on finish or you can just extrude automatically. So this one will be extrude but with a join command. The join operation I mean. So at the join operation I'm going to extrude it by 5 millimeters on it. Okay. And then we're going to use some fillets to fill so this that is 2 millimeters. Okay, so we want to we want to make a circular pattern from of the, of the whole of this the whole of this feature. So we're going to go here, the pattern, the circular pattern, then bodies, good features, and then we're going to use this feature and then the fillets as well. And then the axis will be uh, any circle that you can come around that revolves around it. The features so we're going to use the quantity which is 40. Okay. Oh no, I mean print. Ah, print okay. So as you can see, we want to transfer this or everything here. Here again, we can we could have done it everything on this side and then transfer it to this side as well without you know going to do it uh, the second time. We have already done it, so it's okay. So we just click on this feature, plus the other ones we first used before, and then the mirror we use, of course, with the, the plane in the middle. So to click on the plane in the middle, if you can click it, just click on the right, right click, and then hold, and then these two options will pop up. Either to click on this face or to click on the on this plane, as you can see here. 
selected for this first meter, so as you can see, they have already appeared here. Um, now we're almost done with our sample. The next step is uh, is to make friction fri uh, lines that uh, go against friction here at the top. As you can see, it's very too smooth, and we don't uh, we have to make it uh, look like it resists resist some friction. So let's do that. So we can uh, use the sketch the this uh, front the front sketch. I like to use the projection command again, as I said before, to, to make, give me some edges right here. So we're going to make a line from the middle. Right here. And then we're going to make a rectangle. Rectangle, I use the center one. It's more convenient for me. So I have to make this one, as you can see it's already connected to, to this line, so all I can do is make sure this one is connected to, I mean it's this one, horizontal to this one, so I use this feature, and then I uh, give them dimensions, so this one, with dimensions, and it's 20. Is it 10? I think it's 10. And then this one is 20. Yeah, like this. So I then we make another one here as well. And your center. You can as well just click here and then click this one and then click here equal and it will be equal and then click on this one and this one and they're equal as well so for this one to go here you can just click on the mirror here so the sketch version has also a mirror type feature so you can just click on this too and then for the mirror line you just click on the middle line here and then click OK so after after these two sketches, you can click on uh, finish the sketch, and then we're going to use the sweep feature in this one. So we're going to click on the uh, the profiles first, which are of course the sketches we just did. So the path will be revolving around you know this area right here. You can just click on this sketch or this sketch or this sketch, any line that is circular enough to over here so let me just click on this one so as you can see it, it created a cut on this plane and then you can click on ok so as you can see we just click it just created some friction on this part so we're going to also create other small small parts on here and here so you know just show like how uh, you know, make it more of a, a real a real life time so to do that we have to use this construct plane we have to do is the offset plane so we have to click on the bottom one so that we make uh, make a plane that uh, a bit above uh, a little bit above you know the the top the top part of the uh, and click okay so you click on this sketch again click here and then use project again. I like using it because you know it helps give you some lines in, in the sketch. It is as you can see, these lines just automatically created. So we're going to make just simple lines to just make it have some some more uh, friction you can just do anything like like a split line or something mm -hmm. and then and 
doesn't have to be something that's extra. Just a small smile. A construction line by just using these two, either construction or center line. But center line is better because if you're going to use the mirror, you just click on the mirror like this, like this, like this. Automatically, it will realize this is the this is the center. So you, you, the mirror just is like this. As you can see, it can it has detected this is the mirror line that you using. Press, use click on it. Okay. So we have uh, a feature where we can use we can use uh, this one. Of course, we have this one right here. Yeah, as you can see. Mm -hmm. And then another one maybe. Make one like this, and then also make a mirror of it. So we're going to cut these three lines. Draw these sketches. This one. This one, this one, and then we click this to get a better view. So we want to cut. Like this. I think this is maybe perfect, deep enough. Hmm. I guess. Let me see. As you can see, yeah, we tried to make that part. So after uh, making this. Cuts, or you can just do it, uh, make a circular pattern again. So you can open the features and then select the axis. So access any, as I said, any round edges that you know, revolve around the same axis. This one. So you can choose anything like this. Yeah, the quantity is 40. So for this, because there are too many features at the same time, it may require a huge performance to make them. But as you can see, yeah, it turned out very well. So like this, maybe you can give it some, you can give it some, some appearance. So for appearance, just search. Or you can just click, yeah, click on it, and then uh, it will appear. So we can use the uh, rubber. We can use the this weathered version. So that we're going to use it on this surface here, right here. Okay, it's downloading. Okay, it's finished. Okay. Just put it here right like this. And yes, you're done. So we have created the wheels you can see here. Uh, maybe, yeah, we didn't need to use the right hole through all the way through. Maybe we could have that yeah, can maybe change and, uh, this part. Remains. You can even just yeah. and this also as well. Mm -hmm. And inside, yeah. This one will still remain a metallic part. Yeah. 
so we've created a wheel and yeah that's it off to our, the next part yeah thank you for tuning in